For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Thursday, July 29th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont on Wednesday reported 44 new cases of COVID-19 in the state, with two new positive tests reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire on Wednesday reported 90 new cases of the virus, two new positive tests reported in Cheshire County, the state of Massachusetts on Wednesday reported six deaths, 598 new cases of the virus, no new positive tests reported in Franklin County. A Brattleboro man faces multiple charges for a Tuesday incident. Police were dispatched to the area of the Whetstone Walkway for an assault that had just occurred. Officers arrived and after an investigation charged 65-year-old Kenneth Ganim with simple assault, disorderly conduct, and violation of conditions of release. Ganim was transported to the Brattleboro Police Department for processing, was ordered held on $200, and was cited to appear at the Wyndham Superior Court Criminal Division. More than a dozen blood donation opportunities are scheduled around Vermont in August as the American Red Cross is reporting a severe blood shortage. The need for donations is higher this summer as more people are seeking treatment after deferring care during the coronavirus pandemic. Northern New England Red Cross spokeswoman Mary Brandt says the Red Cross has been distributing 12% more blood products to hospitals across the country than it was during the same time last year. Vermonters are urged to make an appointment by giving, or rather by giving blood and making an appointment rather at 1-800-RED-CROSS. You can also visit redcrossblood.org or download the Red Cross blood donor app on a smartphone. A small plane that crashed in New Hampshire, killing one man and injuring another, was flying low and descended into power lines. A preliminary report released Wednesday by the National Transportation Safety Board stated the men were flying in a Bailey Dragonfly, which is a single-engine, ultralight plane often used to tow gliders on July 10th. The plane crashed in Morningside Flight Park in Charlestown. The report said the pilot survived and that the other man, a pilot-rated passenger, died. The pilot said both had performed a pre-flight inspection and then the passenger flew the airplane solo and performed three touch-and-go landings before stopping and moving to the rear seat. WTSA Sports, Red Sox split a doubleheader with Toronto yesterday, losing the first game 4-1 to and then winning the second game 4-1 to thanks to Tanner Houck. The rookie struck out seven over four innings. Toronto and Boston play again tonight, first pitch at 7-10. Aaron Judge hit a tie-breaking single in the 10th, helping the Yankees beat Tampa 3-1 last night. Those teams play an afternoon game today. First pitch is at 1-10. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on this Thursday, July 29th, my name is Ian Kelly.